Fox Focus, a few minutes for a closer look. Welcome to Fox Focus. June is Men's Health Month, and today we have a warning for you guys. Something about your mouth could play a role in some pretty serious health conditions. Here to talk with us today is Dr. John Moser. He's a general dentist as well as the treasurer for the Wisconsin Dental Association. Dr. Moser, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you, Meg. Thanks for having me. We're talking about gum disease, and it can play a role in some pretty serious health conditions that have nothing to do with your mouth. But first, let's talk about what gum disease is. Okay. Basically, gum disease is a bacterial infection. So if we don't brush and floss enough, the bacteria in our mouth get to take over and invade the tissues. Mm -hmm. So now the tissue gets infected, and when it's infected, it bleeds real easily. So even just chewing, we're going to find that the gum tissue bleeds. Every time the tissue bleeds, blood vessels have burst open in the mouth, and that allows the bacteria that live in the mouth to jump into the bloodstream. Oh, wow. And now they go for the grand tour of the body. <laughs> and the body is really smart. It says, you know, those bacteria aren't supposed to be here, so we'll get the white blood cells out and kill those bacteria. It's a great system and it works. But the activity of the white blood cells killing the bacteria causes inflammation in the blood vessels. And that inflammation leads to plaque formations on blood vessel walls. Okay. And that can inhibit blood flow. And also if those blood vessels get big enough, or if the uh, accumulations get big enough, they can break loose. And if it goes to the brain, you have a stroke. If it goes to your heart, you have a heart attack. So keeping the number of times that your body has to fight bacteria to a minimum is to the body's advantage. Think about if you cut your hand. Mm -hmm. We go to all sorts of efforts to keep it clean. Mm -hmm. Clean it, put a bandage on it, make sure it doesn't get infected. Well, if we're not brushing and flossing enough, our gum tissue gets infected. So by just becoming a really good brusher two times a day for at least two minutes and being a daily flosser, we can have good oral health, also watching our diet, having a, a, a healthy diet, right. and all of a sudden we have good oral health. There's a study in the, uh, that the American Dental Association just put out today. This had to do with prostatitis, so an inflammation of the prostate. 27 subjects. All of them had gum disease. They all got treated for gum disease, and in six to eight weeks, their mouth was healthier. Wow. They did nothing to treat the prostate. Wow. 21 of 27 of those subjects had their, their symptoms of the inflamed prostate go away without treating it, just by treating the gum disease. All coming back to the mouth. You mentioned uh, prostate, you mentioned heart attack, you mentioned stroke. There's some other serious health conditions. Diabetes is really an interesting one, showing the correlation between the mouth and the body. They are connected. If a diabetic gets gum disease, it gets advanced much faster than a non-diabetic. In adults with poorly controlled diabetes, they're three times more likely to have severe periodontitis than a non-diabetic. And then on the other hand, if you have uh, gum disease, diabetics have a much harder time controlling their blood sugar mm. than if they don't have gum disease. So it's like both ends working against it. Working against it. And now men aren't necessarily at greater risk, but you say that men overall don't take quite as good a care as their teeth. Studies show that women brush their teeth twice a day, 88% of females, but only 66% of men brush twice a day. And uh, on the gum disease side, 38% of women have gum disease, whereas 56% of men have gum disease. So a clear correlation between those two. So your recommendation is? Well, see a dentist regularly, brush and uh, floss, brush two times, two minutes, and I encourage my patients to spend even more time, and watching television with a toothbrush is a great way to spend more time instead of looking in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> That's a fantastic recommendation. To find a dentist near you, you can see WDA.org. You can also check out their e-newsletter. It is tongue and cheek, tongue and cheek, WDA.org. Dr. Moser, thank you so much. Thank you, Meg. And happy Men's Health Month. We'll see you on the next Fox Focus. Interested in appearing on Fox Focus? Email us at foxfocus at fox6now.com. 